Hey guys, back again. <laughs> this is the last video for the day. So I just wanted to jump on here and show, this is just me doing me. <laughs> I wanted to create a shabby policy envelope and a slimline card that would, uh, that goes inside of this. So let me just go ahead and show you. I just kept my photo prop up that I use on Instagram. And for those of you that don't know, here is my Instagram. If you want to follow me there, absolutely come and join me and let's dive in. All right, so let's show you the policy card that goes inside of the envelope. And I use the last bits of Frank's collection, Tales of um, You and Me. And guys, like I have just a little bit left and I don't even want to throw it away. It's just pieces, but I just have, I can't throw it away. <laughs> so, um, oh gosh, glue strings. Those are endless. Oh. So anywho, and I wanted to put this together. This is just using craft cardstock. You know, I have so much of it and I rarely use it. So it's like, we're using it today. Well, not today, I've been working on this for about a week. So this beautiful piece right here was gifted to me by Lala when I showed my previous um, blessing package from her. This was one of the pieces. And you can't tell, but this whole piece here and this whole piece here, I literally fussy cut the floral print out of um, the paper. And then I just grabbed a piece of fabric that I had and I just kind of like squunched it up in the middle. I fussy cut the butterflies out of the collection as well. I put, you can see, um, iridescent type of glitter that I always use and pop some pearls in there. This is, um, trim from Hobby Lobby that I just cut apart. I cut this on this and this was all three together, but I cut them all apart. And then on the inside, I just used a um, really beautiful image and then just a part to write on. I had to keep it semi flat because it, ha it had to fit in here. So let me tell you, it was tough. So, but I made it happen. And then this one right here is a policy envelope that I literally had a blast putting together. So this right here was what Lala used to wrap the gifts and I knew for a fact I was gonna keep this and use it. And so I just grabbed it and I tied a bow and this is like free so it's not, you know, glued down to anything. And then this is just a piece of um, a trim that I had in my stash, um, applique I should say. This is a vintage piece spray right here that I believe came from Ulala La Vintage Chargers from a very long time ago. And I think I have one more spray left. So I have that, I have this really beautiful gold mesh from Hobby Lobby. And then I lifted this piece up. This piece right here is a piece of a cut apart and I put it up on three millimeter foam. I have some netting right here. And I did the same kind of concept. I grabbed this type of fabric and I just put like a hot glue and then I squished it, hot glue and I squished it. So not every piece of it is laying down, just the pretty much the center part. And I have some gauze and I got that from Hobby Lobby. And again, the butterflies, I fussy cut out of the collection. This beautiful flower is for scrapping for my boys on Instagram. And then this is what I have hanging off of the envelope. So I have this trim. This is the fabric from right here that just hangs over. I did some eyelid trim. And then this really beautiful trim that was from um, Lala as well. And this one is from Lala. And then I just have it so that when it, you flip it, it just hangs over. And I kept, of course, you can't really add much on here. And then of course the slimline card does fit in there. And I just thought this would be so fun. Guys, I'm like having such a blast. This little locket, I can't even tell you where I got it. I don't remember. This is off of a charm that I got. I don't remember. I just pretty much e 6000 it onto the top of this locket that does open. I'm not going to open it right now because uh, I don't think it'll open as easy if I try to do it on camera. Oh, it did. So that's how it looks. It probably came from Michaels. I think Michaels had like a little shabby set that these came in. And I think this was one from that too. I mean, these were gifted to me. I didn't buy them. So I just grabbed them out of my stash. These one of Tim Holtz garment pins. And then I just have it hanging from there free. And I just love this. It's so fun. It's so fun. So yeah, so I just did these two cards and I just quickly put this together. Just this little, hold on. Oh, she's 
okay this little set of keys and all I did these are the bronze keys from Hobby Lobby and I just got white paint and I kind of like dabbed the paint on and then I got my nail and I scratched some of the paint off and then I have some seed beads wrapped and this is with the prima leaves that I've had for like a billion years I wrapped it around the key but I put seed beads on it right there and I just wrapped it around the key and then just have a dangle here and I didn't add a bunch I kept it very simple I have this really pretty dangle right here that was gifted to me from a crafty friend and I just put that there and just a little piece of just a little doily applique and then just a bubblegum bead so I thought that would be fun just a little mixture of stuff hanging and that's it guys I was just feeling a little extra making some stuff so I hope you feel inspired and if you're a shabby lover, then this is your jam. <laughs> All right. So again, have an amazing and blessed weekend and I'm out of here. I got to go. Bye guys.